How do you divide a fraction by a whole number? In this lesson, you will learn how to divide fractions by whole numbers using models. Let's review. So we know with division that if we had a whole number, or a whole, let's say 12, it's also called our dividend, we divide it by some number, say 4, which is also our divisor, we're left with 3. If we wanted to show this as a model, let's say we had 12 objects, and wanted to divide them equally into groups of 4. So here's one group, here's two groups, here's three groups, and how many groups do we have total? We have one, two, three equal groups of 4. Or another way that we could do it is if we wanted to take our dividend, 12, and divide it into groups, into four groups instead, four equal groups. One, two, three, four. And then we're asked to find how many objects are in each group. When we have one, two, three objects in each group. Either way, we come up with the same answer. We just have two different ways of coming to it. It's going to be the same with fractions. What we'll want to keep in mind is how many equal groups can we split our fraction into, or how many objects are going to be in each fraction once we split it up. And it works best when we can see how that works in a model. So let's take this problem for example. Gary and his brother made one half of a gallon of lemonade to sell at their lemonade stand. They divided the lemonade equally among four paper cups. How much lemonade was in each paper cup? First thing we want to do is try to figure out what this problem is asking us. What is our divi dividend? What is our divisor? Well, if we go through this, we see that he has one half of a gallon of lemonade, and he wants to divide it equally among four paper cups. So if we were to write this as an equation, that would be one half for one half gallon divided by four cups. We're trying to figure out how much lemonade was in each paper cup. So one way we can do that is to draw a model. So let's say that's our model here. We want to show we have one half. So of our whole, I'm going to shade in one half, it's going to represent one half of a gallon. Now we're seeing that they're going to divide the lemonade equally into four paper cups. So let's take our whole and divide it equally into four. One, two, three, four. Now I want to figure out how much lemonade was in each paper cup. So let's see how many parts are shaded. We have one, two, three, four, which tells us that we've successfully divided our half gallon into four groups. For each group we have just one, that tells us our numerator, and how many total parts do we have? We have one, let's show that in red. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. So now we see that if we have a half gallon, we divide it among four cups. Each cup is going to have just one eighth of a gallon of lemonade. The way we can check that, we know that division is the opposite of multiplication. So let's do a multiplication problem. Let's take our answer, 1 eighth, multiply that by 4, and see if we get our original answer. Well, that's going to be 4 over 8, which is going to simplify to 
1 half. Now it's your turn. Here's the problem. Draw a model, write a division equation, and try to solve, and when you're ready, resume the video and check your answer. Alright, so we have the problem that says that the construction engineer calculated that she needed three support pillars of equal size. She ordered one-third of a ton of concrete to make the support pillars. How much concrete did she use for each support pillar? If we go through, we'll see that she needs three support pillars, and that she ordered one-third of a ton of concrete. She's going to split that concrete among each pillar so that each one has the same amount, and we're looking for how much concrete she used for each support pillar. As a division equation, that's going to be one-third for one-third of a ton of concrete. We're going to divide that equally among three pillars. That's going to tell us how many tons per pillar. So if you wanted to draw A model for this, let's start with a rectangle here, and say that we're going to divide it into thirds. Of that thirds, there we go, we shade in one third of that, that's going to show us one third of a ton of concrete. And we're going to divide that by three, so we're going to take this and split it by three. So now we've made one, two, three equal groups. Well, how much is in each group? Well, there's just one in each group. And how many equal parts did we divide our total whole into at the end? We divided it into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going to be our denominator. So. Let's go back and say that if we have one-third of a ton, we're going to divide it into three pillars. We are left with one-ninth tons per pillar. So each pillar is going to get one-ninth of a ton of concrete. Of course, the way we can check that is just go use multiplication and check our answer again. So it's one-ninth of a ton per pillar times three pillars. Three times one is three. We're left with 9, and we do that by 3 on top and bottom to get one third tons of concrete. So, in this lesson, you've learned how to divide fractions by whole numbers using models.